Hey YouTube, iPhone Rebel here with a very different and exciting video. Today I'm going to be talking about the fails of iOS 10. Features that really didn't work or things and designs that Apple failed at in this latest update. Number one, they only have one new wallpaper. Now a lot of people like new wallpapers and only having one new one is not really going to satisfy a lot of people. I mean, it looks nice and it's beautiful and pretty, except it's just one. Plus, they've removed a lot of the older ones. You remember all the flowers? Those were nice, and I have no idea why Apple removed them. So, it's a very disappointing, and I think they kind of failed in that area, that they should have released a couple more wallpapers, because that's something that we usually look for in the launch of a new iOS update. Now, when you plug in your headphones, the screen will light up, and you'll get this kind of like this uh, handoff option when you swipe up. Now this is a really nice feature, however, it is very limited because it really uses the last set, the last option you had. So say you were watching a movie, it would go into that. If you were listening to Spotify, it would go into that. YouTube, it would go into that. However, you can't control it. So say you only wanted to listen to Spotify, so you could just have a shortcut. It doesn't really work. So I think Apple failed in that for this iOS 10. I hope they'll fix that and add some customization iPhone 6S has a lot more features that utilize 3D Touch. Now this is the iPhone SE, which has live photos. Now those live photos kind of act like 3D. You hold on to it and it plays the video. It's super simple. Apple could probably just have you hold on for a lot, a little bit longer, and you get an instead of having the X option, you know, to delete that application it would be able to pop up a screen just like in other 3D touches. That would just be a nice feature, and I think there's something that Apple could improve in this iOS 10 update. The final fail that iOS 10 has not fixed, and this has been a continual bug with people, is this box right here. So you have the ringer and volume. Those, those things are always going to pop up whenever you're watching a video. YouTube has fixed this. They've worked around. So whenever you open up a YouTube video, this volume on the top bar, which would be really nice, and you see that in a couple jailbreaks. I don't know why Apple hasn't fixed it. Instagram's done it, Snapchat's done it. If you have any other apps that you found that have done it, please comment in the description. I don't know why Apple hasn't fixed it, and I hope they will. This has been iPhone Rebels iOS 10 fails from Apple. I hope you enjoyed this video and will subscribe. I'm about to be coming out with a video about the Apple Watch Series 2. I'm about to get my hands on that, test it up, and I've got some exciting news to announce in that video. So stay tuned, subscribe, and while you're waiting for the Apple Watch Series 2 to come out, go check out my other videos. I'll see you next time.